Hello families. I wanted to do a quick video to show some of the maths learning we have been doing recently because it is getting quite complicated. Excuse the shaky camera. I am filming whilst writing this for you. So the first step of all of this is adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator. Now a denominator is the number on the bottom of the fraction. It is how many pieces something is broken into. So for example, one half is when you chop something into two. The numerator, the top number, is how many you're talking about, but the denominator, the two, is how many all together. So if I chop a shape into four, then I have a four on the bottom. If I say three, then I colour in three. But it's the denominator we are worrying about. When the fractions are the same on the bottom, when they have the same denominator, adding and subtracting is really simple. That's why this is level one. It will get harder in following videos. So to do this, if we had two, two, six, plus one, six. Because they have the same number on the bottom, it makes it simple. We do not add the bottom. We just have the same number on our answer. And then we simply add the numbers on the top. That is because if you have six, If you have two six, and then you add another sixth, you have three six. You don't have three twelfths, which would look like that, and three twelfths is only a very small amount. You would end up with a lot less. So when they're the same denominator, you copy that across and you add the numerators. This is the same with subtraction. So if we had five eighths, and we decided to take away two eighths, because they have the same denominator, that keeps it simple and we know the answer will have the same denominator. We can then do five minus two, which gives us three. So the visual representation would be 4 Eight, split into eight. So we have five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And I decide to cross out two of those five. I take away that one and I take away that one. I am left with one, two, three. So when the denominators are the same, you move the denominator, you copy the denominator across and just solve the problem on the top, the numerators. So why not try some of these problems at home as a family or challenge your child to answer them? Two fifths plus two fifths is what? Uh, three ninths plus four ninths is what? And how about fifteen forty fifths plus seven forty fifths? And some subtraction ones. 
five sevenths minus two sevenths six tenths minus five tenths and what about twenty seven sixty fourths take away thirteen sixty fourths I'm going to give you a mastery challenge one now. 13, um, 13 fiftieths plus something equals 29 fiftieths. So what is the missing fraction there? So if you're feeling confident, you want to have a go as a family or on your own, try and answer these questions and bring them back to me the next day you're at school. Good luck.